All right, guys, we are finally finished uh, with the cotton harvest. That took a while. But, uh, yeah, we should... Uh, I think we'll make a pretty decent amount of money uh, off the, the extra cotton, uh, in addition to, of course, the the uh, contract uh, payout itself. So let's go ahead and make this final bale, run it up to Johnson's. Uh, we need to wash and uh, fuel up the tractor and the harvester as well. And then we'll see, you know, what the final tally is here. We have a 91% cotton bale in here. Uh, the game does let you create cotton bales that are not 100% complete, uh, which makes sense because on the smaller cotton fields, you know, there's not enough cotton for you to make a full bale. So that's interesting how they decided to handle that. Uh, let's get in here and get this loaded and we'll send this a worker up to Johnson's with this if I can get him to actually, uh, you know, not get stuck. <laughs> I've been really wonky lately. I don't know why. All right. So we'll grab this guy. It'll pull it right up onto the center there. Okay, now let's see if we can get you up to Johnson's here. Set destination. And just stage right there, and then I'll come and take you the rest of the way. If you can manage to get up there. Okay, do you think you can manage that? Anytime now. There you go. All right, cool. And we'll take this back to the ranch, get it cleaned up, get it fueled up. And see where we end up for the for the end of October 1st. But yeah, we'll uh we'll we'll pay if not all most of the bank loan off at the end of the day here after we finish what up with the cotton. And uh, then we will Oh, you know what? There was actually, now that I think about it, I think another cultivating, yeah, I took a couple more cultivating contracts. This is the one we're finishing up right now. Uh, so that's going to give us another seven, eight, seventy-eight hundred bucks right there too. Okay. Uh, can I get through here with the header? Yeah, I think so. Let's just stop right here. Fuel this up. Yeah, there are there are two base game cotton harvesters, and this one's like something like four hundred thousand dollars, and the other one that's a John Deere, it's eight hundred thousand dollars or thereabouts. Just incredibly expensive machines. It's like unbelievably expensive. <laughs> so. They're pretty cool, though. Let's go on over to the farm and get the pressure washer out and clean her up. Look at this thing, man. That is cool. It's little teeth, I guess, uh, shred the cotton off the plant or something. It seems to me like probably the removal of the cotton from the plant probably happens more in the header than in the machine itself. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, um, you know, during the time lapse, but you can actually see the cotton, you know, being blown up into the hopper, I guess. Well, I don't know if that is a hopper, but the chamber. And there's augers in there that are kind of, you know, feeding it back evenly. And then it, you know, gets compressed and stuff. Pretty interesting, though. That's got some uh, pretty janky paint on it for what should be a pretty new machine. We've got to step up here and then up to here. I mean, I guess you can go up here to look inside. Really neat, man. I love it.
Okay. So we're all fueled up and we're all cleaned up. Let's just park this over here. Alright, let's go take over for our worker here. And see how much money we can make by dropping this bale off. This is almost a full bale. Think of what, what, what was it, like 91% or something like that? Alright, here we go. $9,000. Nice. Very nice. I'll take it. Okay, let's get this tractor back. We also need to get it fueled and cleaned up. Because I did use it for some other jobs earlier on. And then we'll turn in the contracts and see where we are. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to also bust out those two cultivating contracts. I'm just going to do that off camera. Um, well, I guess that's the highest gear this can go in. And then I will bring you back once I get those cultivating out so we can see what the final tally is uh, for the entire day. So, see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back, and I have finished the uh, cultivating contracts. Uh, however, once we turn in the three cotton fields, those will probably also come up for cultivating, but I can do those later. So, let's go ahead and hop into here. And we have... Um, all of those to complete. Uh, this is a sugar beet, which I don't think I want to do. I mean, $31,000 is a lot of money, but it takes so long to do sugar beets. Excuse me. So I don't think we'll do that. Uh, that's a smaller sugar beet. And then these, uh, that's a sugar beet. That's a small sunflower and a corn. Not, none of them are really that, that good. Oh man, more cultivating just came up. Goodness. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Yeah. These are the cotton fields. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to do these. And yeah, that's going to get us another $10,000 or so. Cool. Okay. Uh, but I don't think we're going to take anything else. Anyway, that brings us up to $136,187. So we are going to go into our finances and we are going to repay the bank. Completely pay the bank off. And then we're going to do those additional cultivating contracts, uh, which will get us up to around $16,000 by the time we're done with that. Um, so, yeah, let me let me just get those busted out and I'll bring you back. <laughs> for, well, here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to I'm going to get those those done. Uh, we also need to. Yeah, we need to get some food for our chickens here in the next couple of days. I'll probably do that on October 3rd. Uh, so I will, I'll bring you back on October 3rd, uh, and then we'll finish out the month and this episode at that point in time. All right. So I'll see you in uh, three days from now, two days from now, something like that. All right, guys, it is October 3rd and, uh, we are ready to wrap up this month, but we have to do a few more things, uh, before we do that. Uh, okay, so let's see. We need to get the chickens some food, and we need to take go grab the eggs that are ready and throw those in the warehouse. Let's go do the eggs first, I guess. So we'll hop in here. Um, so in the sale, the largest cultivator in the game is for sale. <clears throat> And <laughs> I do a lot of cultivation, as you guys know, if you've been watching all along. And I'm just uh, thinking about it. And I have, I have a little bit of a confession to make. When you guys look at this and you look at the horsepower requirement, you're, saying, you're probably thinking, but, oh, gee, you don't have a tractor, a 500 horsepower tractor to run that behemoth. Well, actually, I sort of kind of do. What I have, ladies and gentlemen, is a man truck with a PTO. And that man truck is 500 horsepower. And where the heck am I going? <laughs> I gotta go this way. And I have, in fact, used and been using my man truck uh, for cultivating with the Rosselmosh uh, the last, you know, several times I've done it because it works great. <laughs> 
and it's 500 horse. Um, so I could, I could indeed, you know, still do that. Now, eventually I want to get a large tractor that's 500 plus horsepower. Um, and then I'll, you know, once that happens, I'll actually start using the tractor for that. But in the meantime, the man actually works surprisingly well. Um, beautifully well, in fact. So that's not an issue. I can, I can run that thing now if I get it. Um, and again, considering how many... Uh, cultivating contracts I do every year I mean I do just about everyone that comes up with maybe the exception of the really really small fields and I'll even do those if they're you know if I'm just doing a big batch of them or something so do I absolutely need that right now no if I get it right now will I have to take out yet another loan yes but um I don't know, man. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I know. I keep getting tempted by all of these buys that come up. But this is one that, that... What makes this different than the other ones is that this is something that is going to help us. I mean, that thing is... There we go. That thing is almost 10 feet wider than our current cultivator. And our current cultivator is no joke. I mean, that has pretty good coverage. So because it's something that's direct that'll directly impact one of my frequent sources of income, I, I feel that that kind of justifies it a little bit more than, say, just getting a large tractor because we want a large tractor kind of idea. Uh, so, um, I don't know. The thing is, is if we're going to do it, we got to do it now because it's pro you know not going to be available probably tomorrow. And, of course, it's not going to cause a problem for us because we'll be able to easily, once again, pay it off. I really have been using the bank a lot in the last few months. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just, I'm pondering it. I haven't made up my mind one way or the other yet, but I am, I am pondering it at this point. Uh, but, yeah, this truck here um, pulls this Rasselmosh, which requires how much horsepower does it require 375 like it's nothing because this is a 500 horse and you know can even with the single axle and the smaller tires it there's no traction issues whatsoever and not that i've noticed in the real real world there probably would be but in this game it doesn't matter <laughs> it just pulls it like it's nothing um so you know i'm sure that this will also you know pull that bigger one too It'll be right at the max horsepower limit, but it shouldn't have any trouble with it. Okay, well, anyway, let's. Uh, we need to run down to um, the grain mill and get some grain for our chickens, so let's do that next. And we'll just hook up into the, the Brant trailer here. But, yeah, this... Uh, this thing makes an amazing tractor. I mean, it really does. Especially with the PTO on it. It can, it can do anything that doesn't require a three-point hitch uh, that a tractor can do. Which is pretty cool, really, if you think about it. Um, 500 horsepower for, you know, what does this thing cost brand new? I, I did buy it brand new, too, last year when we made all that money. Trucks. $130,000 brand new for 500 horse. That's a pretty good deal, man. That is actually a pretty good deal. You could call it the 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 poor man's large tractor. So, all right. Well, anyway, let's uh, head on down to the train station, and uh, I think I'm going to pull all the sorghum out. Um, I know sorghum is one of the higher you know higher priced grains for selling, but that sorghum is not there for us to make money. It's there for us to feed our chickens. Um, and was yeah, I know I just ran that guy over, but he's an idiot for walking on my property. I need to put up no trespassing signs as if that would do any good, right? Uh, so, what were we saying now? Oh yeah, the sorghum. So yeah, the, we're gonna we're gonna get the sorghum out of the mill, or out of the silo. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix that really jank land. It's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, bear with me, it'll get fixed, promise. Uh, anyway, um, and, and then we'll still have a over 31,000 liters of barley and 
a little over 9,000 liters of wheat. So we'll just clear out the sorghum first. If I was, you know, really hard up for money and didn't have a lot of other options, that would be a different story. But that, of course, is not our situation at all. We're actually in very, very good shape at this point. Okay. The other, the other chore that we have to do before we end out the month, well, we don't have to, but I'm going to do it anyways, is uh, we need to... There we go. Uh, we need to put those round bales inside of the storage because we're going to um, do our November harvest next month. And then those bales, I'm going to just stage where the current bales are. I'm not even going to bother putting them in storage because we're going to pick them back up again in January uh, to sell them. Oops, here comes the car. Sorry, dude. Actually, I'm not. These drivers around here are complete idiots. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, let's go take this back to the chickens. I'm loving my new shifter, but I can only go up to gear 11 with it. And then I have to use my paddle shifter uh, to get to the final gear. It's just, uh, just kind of the way it works, I guess, for this truck. But, you know, different vehicles in this game have different gearboxes, so... Oh, just scraped my side of my building there. All right, we want to make sure that this is locked. Locked trailer. There we go. Okay, and then we got to flip it into reverse. And just kind of stick it right over into the side of the silo here. And there we go. All right, let's give our chicken some sorghum. Look at them, listen, them to, listen to them cackling there. They're really happy. Well, I guess we have the grain door enabled on that. That's all right. Good. Okay, so that should get the chicken set up for a few more months. That wasn't a full silo full, but uh, it's pretty good. Okay, we'll put the cover on this. Go back into reverse. Oops. Oh, for goodness sakes, I was messing with my my paddles to try and get that, and I twisted it way too far. Okay, let's get into R3. There we go. This thing is very tricky to back up. It's still not as bad as trying to back it up with the dolly, but it's still ultra sensitive. All right, you know what? That's good enough. That is good enough. Okay, chickens are fed. Let's park our our tractor truck. Truck that's a tractor, tractor that's a truck. Excuse me. And the last thing we need to do is just get those bales uh, put into the storage. So we'll hook up to our thing. But you know what? I need to actually let you guys go. So let's take a quick look at the ledger, and then I'll load those bales up uh, after I let you go. So uh, here is how October turned out. We, excuse me. <coughs> we didn't buy... <coughs> man. <coughs> frog in the throat. Oh, we need to pay our worker. Let's do that right now. So we want to go to 
here and 3200 excuse me okay um now I got the hiccups <laughs> for goodness sakes what's blinking oh the man has the blinkers on I'm going what in the world's going on All right, so yeah, let's go back into here. And Ledger. Okay, so yeah, we didn't buy anything. Uh, the, this is the uh, repairs that we made this month, property maintenance, our mysterious uh, production costs. If you guys have left comments about that, I haven't seen them yet. Uh, we sold, this is cotton bales. These aren't hay bales. So, yeah, so this is, this is all the cotton bales that we sold. Um, yep. This is how much we spent in fuel. This is harvest income from soybeans mostly, if not completely. No, I'm sorry, soybeans and sunflowers that we turned in. Uh, we grossed $113,783 on the contracts. We paid workers $9,223, and we paid out our worker for $3,200. Uh, we paid off the bank for $130,000. And then that leaves us with thirteen thousand five hundred or three hundred and fifty-three dollars for uh, the end of the month. Now, if I here's what's going to happen: if I decide to get that cultivator, I'm still thinking about it. If I decide to get that cultivator, then I'm going to take uh, this cultivator. We could probably sell it for somewhere close to ten thousand uh, dollars if I repaid it and take it down to the shop. Um, and then, and let's see, we have 13,000. So, so basically let's say we have 23,000. So I'd have to borrow about 40,000 from the bank to get this. Um, so I will, you know, I'll definitely let you know next month if I did decide to do that. I just, like I said, I haven't made up my mind yet if I want to actually do that. The other thing that's kind of cool about that particular one, it's also one of the field creator ones though. I think creating a brand new field with a cultivator is not very realistic, so I probably wouldn't use it for that, even though I could. I have no problem whatsoever creating a brand new field with a subsoiler, but with a cultivator, yeah, that doesn't really seem right to me. Oh man, this thing looks like it needs some serious repair. Okay, it probably doesn't matter for something like this, though. I mean, what is repairing the bale pickup trailer going to actually do to make it more efficient? I have no idea. <laughs> um, but, you know, we'll still repair it anyways, just so we're keeping our stuff in good repair. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. We had, man, this was a busy, busy month. A lot of stuff happened this month. Um, but all good, man. All good. We made a, we, we really, if you think about it, we made a lot of money, uh, not only in the actual cash that we got, but, you know, in the, in the bales that we were able to save for sa selling and around $50,000 I estimate, you know, for that. So that was good. And uh, yeah, lots of stuff going on. So for November, the plan is going to be for me to do my own hay again. I probably will not do that on camera. I'll probably not bring you guys back until the end of November for an update. Unless again, I have a compelling reason to do so. So guys with that, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please, Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.